Hello and welcome to this demo on configuring anti-spam and anti-phishing policies in Exchange Online. In this session, we will walk through the steps to set up these security measures using the latest Microsoft Defender portal to help protect your organization from malicious email. Now to begin, let's open the browser and get access to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And here we are going to open the Microsoft Defender portal, which is now rebranded as the Security Center under the Admin Centers. So let's click to the Microsoft Defender portal. And once it opens, then you use your Global Administrator or Security Administrator credentials to log in. And once it logs in, click on the email and collaboration from the left hand menu. And here, let's find out. So there it is, email and collaboration. And here we are going to select the policies and rules from these options. So let's click here. Then choose threats and policies. Click to this link. And this section contains various security configurations, including anti-spam and anti-phishing. Both are available here. Now let's configure an anti-spam policy to control how spam and bulk messages are handled. So here in the threat policy section, you can see, let's do a little scrolling to show you that how many options are available and how much flexibility you have to configure these different options. And under the threat policies, let's click to anti-spam. And here you can see the description that defines this anti-spam policy and it tells protects your organization email from spam including what action to take if spam is detected so that's good click to the anti-spam and here you have a few more buttons like create policy and refresh and these are some default policies that are created and working right now if you just expand this section so you will find that anti-spam inbound policy, which is the default policy, the connection filter policy is default, and the anti-spam outlook policy, all three policies are the default policies. Now then click to the create policy, and let's select the inbound to create the policy. And here, let's type the name, so GSS anti-spam. ATS and let's leave the description then click next and under apply to here you have to select the user and it will suggest you that which user you can choose to apply this policy and here you can see that it shows the single user why because we have this license user that is available to inherit the, this policy so if you have the whole corporate environment you have the real world and definitely you will have a lot of licenses like 200 or 300 licenses so you can select all the user or groups because here it shows include these user groups and domains here as well so you can also select a single user or you can select you know the domain and all that things now here right now we are going to select the user JSS user test 2 test user 2 and here you can select the groups like if you type any character so it will suggest you any familiar group with that character and you can also select the group here as well and here in the domain section you can type the domain name like b2b service and this policy will be applied to the whole domain so you don't need to select a single user or group in that case if you wanted to create a all over policy for your whole domain for your whole environment in that case you can go with the domain and it will be applied on all over the domain and here there is a button that will revert all these inputs that you have provided here like if you select this exclude these user groups and domain so what's going to happen that these user and group and domain whatever you define here will be excluded with the effects of this policy but right now we're not going to select that option then click next and here on bulk email threshold and spam properties 
here you have to set some actions that will be taken if the policy is triggered or something turn on this policy so here you have bulk email threshold which is set to seven a higher bulk email threshold means more bulk email will be delivered so the default is seven or you can send up to like three or four but it is seven because in a lot more cases you have to send your different department like the HR and they have to send some announcement or some message to you know all the members in the domain so in that case the bulk email needs to be done and if your threshold is too little so that will impact and these you know broadcast email will not be delivered then you have the spam properties is increase the spam score specify whether to increase the spam score for messages that includes these type of links or URL image links to remote website now you can just on and off things and that will be effective once the policy is created numeric IP address in the URL so it's all up to you whatever settings you enable. then URL redirect to other code link to dot biz or dot info website which is currently off so your domain will not receive these sort of emails or it will be marked as a spam and here the empty messages will be you know marked as a spam specify whether to mark message that includes this property that is spam so it is simple and you can just toggle on kind of thing you can on and off these sort of triggers and you know the detectors embedded tags in html javascript or vb script form tags in html web bugs object tags sensitive words spf record hard fill sender id filtering hard fill you can turn it on backscatter contains specific language and you can type the language from these countries like let's say for example we type here chinese to china so this message this contain specific message languages is on so what's going to happen that then if any message comes with the Chinese so it will be marked as a spam and here you can define the countries as well that whether this email received from this specific country in that case this email will be marked as a spam so let's say we type here Nigeria or any country or let's say UK or any country Just for example, then the task mode configure the task mode option for a match for when a match is made to test enable advanced option. So here you can enable it, then click next and move to the actions. And here you can set action for this policy. Here you define some criteria, some parameters, and here message action when the spam receive, move message to the junk email, or add X header that will notify you prepare subject line with the tags and here you can just redirect the message to the email address delete the message quarantine the message so quarantine would be good and send the set the quarantine policy so the default access policy we are going to set here high confidence spam then move to the junk folder or let's go with the junk folder and the phishing move to the junk so that would be easier to unnotice these sort of messages and email if they goes in the junk folder high confidence phishing definitely quarantine or move message to the junk folder but the high confidence phishing is good to go in the quarantine because these are some sort of virus email viruses then permission to release quarantine messages will be ignored for messages detected as high quarantine phishing. The permission will fall back to the request release instead. Then you can select the policy, bulk compliant, level BCL met or exceeded, the junk folder. So here all the actions you can set up, you can provide and the policy will work out in the same way. Then allow or the block list, you can add always to your message messages from the sender you can you know specify and you can 
just provide the single sender or the group of senders who can send the email that contain the same stuff that you have blocked or you have marked them spam or you can allow specific domains here let's say you have different domains you have or there's a there are some clients you have and you know the communication goes on with these clients again and again so in that case you can allow the domain of these clients in this Microsoft Defender policy and then in that case any message any email that comes from these domains will not be blocked or moved to the spam if they match these properties so be careful while enable or while specifying any domain or any sender in that case or sender marked messages from the sender as spam you can you know provide any email address here that will be marked spam from these senders same with the domains as well so this for the allowed and this for the blocked so let me do something here in the message sender and let me add a sender here to show you how this works and here i'm going to type the email my email address here then see whether it blocked the message or not then add to the sender message block sender add sender and domain to the list to ensure message are always marked as a spam then click to done and this outside email address has been added and click next and here's the policy name and this is the summary that you have configured then click to the create button well have a look here new anti-spam policy has been created well that's it for this demo on configuring anti-spam in exchange online and by following these steps you can significantly improve organizations email security and in the next video we will talk about and we will show you how you can configure anti-phishing policies in exchange online